Here's a theory that I have. Many of us millennials grew up in the age of Jerry Springer and Maury Povich. And, you know, are you the father? And they do the DNA test and, oh no, she was cheating and she's not really the father. Ah, right? We grew up seeing that. And now what's happened in this black mirror version of reality, now we have affordable DNA test and we can find out our own ethnic backgrounds. And so what's funny is when I look at the most popular video on my channel, it's the one where my sister and I compare and contrast our DNA test results and, and they're largely different, you know, and the number one comment is, oh, the milkman is the real dad. And you know, you know, they imply all this stuff that we're not really brother and sister. Half of it's probably just people trying to be funny and not being successful. And the other half is probably people who are just really not understanding how DNA actually works. That you get half of your DNA from each parent, but it's a random amount of, of both. So especially with brother and sister, especially even from parent to child, it's going to have a decent amount of, of variables in there, right? We get that, you and I do. But what's funny is the comments though, even the people that aren't trying to be trolling or not trying to be funny, I think so many of the people who leave comments about maybe it's the milkman, because I get so many of those comments on not only the one where my sister and I compare, but I talk about me and my parents' DNA or me and my own kids' DNA. People tend to gravitate towards this. It's like they're trying to plant seeds of doubt, like maybe that's not really your kid. Maybe that's not really your dad. Maybe that's not really your sister. And they do that. It's almost like they've watched too much TV in the 90s. It's almost like they're just naturally assuming that, yeah, that clearly couldn't be the case. That guy clearly couldn't have a, a daughter with blonde hair and blue eyes and a son that also has blue eyes, even though the parents have brown eyes. Clearly that couldn't be the case. Clearly that can't be a sister. And they, they draw these conclusions. It's just, it's so funny. I think, I think that uh, we have subliminally in our mind, Maury Povich, you're not the father, ah, throwing chairs and all this stuff. I think that part of our culture and part of our identity follows us into these DNA test results that we have to see a husband and a wife and then we have to see their kids and then we have to say, yep, I can tell that's, that's their kids. We have to be able to say it before we can speculate that, oh, maybe, maybe that's not really the kid's parent, oh, right? And it's funny, in, the, in, a similar, in a similar situation, just like with reality shows, you know, as many of these comments that I receive, and they're just, people, again, they're trying to be funny. It's not, it's not funny because it's not original. I hear it all the time. But it's like people want to be judges. It's like in the 2000s, we got all these reality shows and judges panels and boo, right? And so people want to cast, they, they, people want to be judges and people want to, <laughs> People want to assume that people aren't really related when they watch these DNA videos. But anyway, you and I understand it, but I think I just like to look at the psychology behind why people tend to be so vocal about, oh, well, maybe you're not really the father, that sort of thing. It's rampant in the comment section. I find it entertaining and I find it very unoriginal, but I think that's why. It's the psychology. People are so used to watching those paternity test talk shows in the 90s and they're so used to watching reality shows with judges and you just find some reason to criticize a person and to try to make them feel bad about themselves it'll never work on me i do not give power over my emotions to other people that's something that sets me apart from a lot of people that make that's my superpower anyone can have it but most people don't claim it there you go psychology dna everything you hope to hear in four minutes you're welcome